Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. We're going to be doing a little spotlight or a quick look or whatever the hell I'm going to call this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my life. Anyways, we're going to take a little look at the game, mainly because I already played it. And uh, as you can tell by my Eevee looking like a hipster, I already played it a bit. And I kind of don't want to delete my progress. I couldn't help myself, right? And I still don't know if I want to do a full playthrough of this game or not. I do love Pokemon. I love it to death. I was so happy when this game came out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a little spotlight just to show you guys. Uh, my fucking Eevee's bothering me. What the hell do you want? Exasperated. What the fuck are you exasperated about? Shut the fuck up, Eevee. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of fucking... Yeah. I'm tired of you. Fucking weirdo. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know if I want to do a full playthrough of this or not, but might as well show off the game. Uh, some people are still thinking whether they want to buy the game or not. Like, I know some of my friends are thinking if the game's really worth it or not, because it's not, it's not really a traditional Pokemon game, but it's, it's close enough. I'm not gonna lie, it's really close enough, and I honestly really enjoy the game more than I thought I would originally. I remember when they first announced this game, I was like... Get the fuck out of here, man. It's bullshit. Anyways, now now, Mr. President. I hope you're not thinking of lying to me. The Master Ball. You successfully created one, didn't you? Do you think it's that easy to make? And now that I know what you really- Wait, what? Now that I know who you really are, there's no way I want to make a thing like that. Not for someone like you. How dare you. And give up on thought of- Wait, what? And give up any thought of forcing us to create lots of powerful Pokemon for you. Using stolen research to create Pokemon, that's not something Sylph, Sylph, right? That's how you pronounce that, Sylph? Sylph would ever do. We had a deal. You agreed to this. You're a smart man. I'm sure you can imagine what will happen to your people if you say no to me now. Ah, young fire. Young spitfire. Young hot fire. Spit and fire like a magmar. Anyways, so we meet again. The president of Sylph and I have, are discussing a vital business pro blah, 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 pro proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-ups' matters. Or experience a world of pain. Whatever, Giovanni, with your fucking receding-ass hairline, looking like Vegeta, going ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. Anyways, you were challenged by Team Rocket boss Giovanni. But like I was saying, um... Man, fucking, I, I hate Persian so much. I hate you. You're just a terrible Pokemon. I tried my best. I tried my best to train one, and it just sucked. And it has the most annoying attack ever. Fucking fake out. Just, just, just get it over with. It used fake out. It just wasted a turn. Critical hit. Look how much, look how much damage that did. What's the point of that move? Just to be a jackass? Just be a fucking asshole? Yeah, but um. When this game was originally now, I was one of the few people who was like, "No, why would they do that?" Right? But then it was that blow was kind of softened because uh, they were like, "Oh, this isn't the main Pokemon game we're actually like making for the Switch. This is kind of like a thing to uh, ease people into actual Pokemon games from the people who were introduced to it through Pokemon Go." And I'm like, okay, that's cool. And then they showed gameplay of it. And I was like, to be honest, this is the closest thing we're probably ever going to get to another Pokemon Snap. I'm going to be honest. Like, that's what I really thought. And it's like, you're not really taking pictures of Pokemon. But, you know, it's nice to see them walking around again. Because we all know second gen is the best gen. Anyways, uh, look at my Pokemans. Look at my Pokemans. Look at my fucking trainer red team. Besides, I don't have an Espeon or a Lapras because you can't have an Espeon, and I don't give a fuck about Lapras. Anyways, who am I sitting out? I'm sitting out Venusaur. I mean, Venusaur! Come on, man! You keep feeding me these Pokeblocks! Give him some fucking Taurus meat or something! Mm. Man, I, <laughs> I love that fucking uh, Flash made by Yuga Raptor, but at the same time, isn't isn't the Venusaur in that, in that animation an Ivysaur? You got an Ivysaur yelling Venusaur. <laughs> He's like, I'm in, I'm in Venusaur. <laughs> that and like, if it is a Venusaur, it's so fucking tiny. It's the size of a fucking Pikachu. Like, it's smaller than the Pikachu. Like, what the hell? 
Uh, who's he sending out? He's sending out Nita Queen. Nito Queen. I'm gonna send out Flareon. Because my Flareon's awesome. Oh yeah, by the way, let me just point out this, just in case you guys are asking. Uh, your partner Pokemon that you get for this game, your Pikachu or your Eevee that you get at the beginning of this game, you cannot evolve them. Which really sucks, because you can dress them up and shit. Uh, you can't evolve them. They're mainly your use of, like, HMs and shit. And, uh... Hmm, what, what are you again? You're, a uh, You're not ground poison, I think you're just ground, right? I don't know, use Iron Tail. Fuck him up! Avoided the attack. Great. Good job, Flareon. I love you. Um, yeah, but, like, your partner Pokemon you get at the beginning of this game, it has, like, perfect IV stats and shit. Like, just all around the board, just straight up perfect. But, um, but you can't evolve them, and they can learn, like, special moves with the most stupidest names, like Sizzly Slide and Splashy Splashy and Pouncy Bounce or whatever the fuck. I don't know. It's so dumb. Like, I hate shit like that. I hate when Pokemon does that. They're like, oh, teacher, Pikachu, zappy zappy. Zappy wappy. It's like, come on, man. I understand that's the cater to, like, kids or something, but when the moves are actually powerful, I don't want to sit there and be like, oh, Pikachu, use a zip zapper slapper. Right? So, I, I don't know. Anyways, Giovanni got his ass beat. Blast. I have a little choice, it seems. I will relinquish Slith from now. Slith? Slith? Mm, Slith. But Team Rocket will never fall. <laughs> oh man, you haven't played Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Uh, Fire, never forget. All Pokemon exist for Team Rocket's use. I may leave you now, but we will meet again. That's cool, man. That's real cool. Anyways, hey, what's up, President? What's this about you having a deal with him? You doing some organized crime or shit? Like, come on. Oh, dear boy. Thank you for saving us here at Sylph. Sylph? Slith? I still don't know how to say that. Shut up, Evie. Wahaha, I suppose that's so. I wasn't, uh, it wasn't just you, it was your partner of yours too. Evie didn't do shit. I will never forget how you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way, and I'm quite magnanimous, so I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. You got a Master Ball from the President. Imagine you threw the Master Ball at a Pokemon, <laughs> and since it has like the shitty, uh, if you're not playing in the docked mode, I mean not docked mode, if you're not playing in handheld mode it gives you like this shitty ass motion control that you have to deal with because they want you to throw your pokeball or whatever but imagine you use the master ball on like mewtwo or something and you just fucking miss it goes all the way to the right i will fucking turn off my game i will turn off my game you can't buy that anywhere it's our special prototype the master ball it will catch any pokemon without fail truly truthfully we've only succeeded in making just the one so you should probably be quiet about using it Cool. Good thing I'm recording this. Is that a picture of a fucking Rapidash? What is that? Is that a Rapidash? I can't see from where I'm sitting. It's a picture of a legendary Pokemon. Is it Moltres? I can't see. Maybe, maybe if I if I do this, if I go with play with Eevee, I can look behind my Eevee. Oh, it's a Moltres. Okay, I can see I can see the outline. It's Moltres. Moltres, the shittiest of the bird Pokemon, which sucks because my, I love fire types. I love fire types, dude. And I'm not just saying that because Charizard's awesome. Man, that sucks, man. I hate things like that, where it's like, hey, what do you like? I like this thing that's actually really fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, everyone else likes that, too. What a basic bitch. It's like, man, come on. It's like, I love Charizard. I love... Is that a fucking fly in my room? Get the fuck out of here. It's like, I love Charizard. I like, I like fucking Infernape. I like Typhlosion. Typhlosion's my boy. That's my fucking boy right there. It's like, I don't like Embroar. I really don't. I kind of like uh, Snavier, or what he's called. Uh, fucking Snivy, Servine, and, and fucking, is it called Snavier? I think that's what it's called, right? It's like, it's like, it's something like Snivy Emperor. It's a play on the word Emperor or some shit like that. I can't remember. Snake and Emperor. I think that's what it is. Um, it's like, I like those guys. I don't remember the fucking, the, uh, the names of the X and Y starters. Because that game was so fucking easy. Speaking of that, this game isn't really all that easy, to be honest. I mean, there's some parts when the game's, like, really, really fucking easy. But there are other parts of this game where if you're not spamming, like, if you're not 
constantly shoving candy in your Pokemon's mouth, then, like, you're gonna have a little bit of a challenge. Unless you're one of those people who just constantly search and search for the Pokemon with the best IVs. Actually, let me just show off my Pokemon right now. I'm not into, like, uh, EV training and stuff like that. <laughs> Pokemon, let's go EV. We're EV training. Haha, <laughs> EV. Anyways, I'm not into shit like that, but I might as well show them off. This is what I got from my Raichu. My Raichu's okay. He gets his ass beat a lot. Uh, I, I lucked out on on the Eevee that I caught. This is a wild Eevee that I caught. This is pretty lucky, actually. I, I'm happy with this. Uh, Snorlax is the first one that I fought. The only one that I fought. And I'm not really a fan of Snorlax, but I guess, I mean, I have him here. Because I want I want to be like the Pokemon trainer Red. Uh, now, the three starters, uh, Charizard, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur, you can find them in the game in locations. Like, people will be like, uh, I have this starter Pokemon, I don't want to train it or take care of it. Catch a certain amount of Pokemon, I'll give it to you. Like, every time you, uh, when you do that, um, these, uh, three starters, they get perfect, uh, IVs, EVs, IVs, EVs, I don't fucking remember. They get perfect stats, basically. They get at least three, like, Three or maybe two, like, perfect stats. Like, look at fucking Charizard. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. Blastoise. And Venusaur. Yeah, but... Before people yell at me, fucking... How dare you have a Raichu? Trainer Ash never had a Raichu. I mean, Trainer Ash. Why did I say that? Fuck, now people are gonna yell at me. Trainer Red, he never had a Raichu. <laughs> Why did I skip that? I, I was supposed to read that shit. That archer guy made a run for it, so I chased him all the way. By the way, I named this guy Green. He's not green. Uh, you meet Gary later in the game, aka Blue. Um, you meet him later in the game. I, I don't know why I call this guy Green. I kind of I hate the friendly rival shit. I really do. All the Team Rocket grunts ran out of Saffron City too. Guess we're lucky you're such a strong trainer fire. To be honest, I was a little scared. Like that would ever happen to us if it turned out the bad guys were strongest, you know? But you and me, fire, we really managed to save Sylph. Sylph. Sleth? Slep? Mm, can't pronounce it. Nobody will have to go through what Cubone went through ever again. Alright. Now, now that everybody's back to normal, everybody, wow, now that everything's back to normal, I guess it's time for the next gym. Have you been to Saffron City Gym already? No. How many badges have you got? I only got three. Maybe we'll both make it all the way to the Pokemon League. Let's both give it our best shot. See ya. I find it funny that, uh, it, you know what's really weird to me? What's really weird to me is that, uh, First of all, you have the you have the fucking I, I just kinda hate the friendly rival shit. I think that started in Pokemon X and Y to be honest. Uh and by friendly rival, I mean like over friendly, like like the worst that it's ever been probably was Hal from uh, Sun and Moon. He's just fucking annoying. He's so annoying. He just shows up, he's like, Yeah, we're best friends, right? And I'm like, Hal, I fucking hate you. And then he looks at the other dude, uh the edgy guy. I forgot his name basically Lily's brother, like, you didn't see that fucking plot twist coming from a mile away, it's like, oh, let me guess, your brother, and the lady over there is your mom, and you all have family problems, and they do, cool, but, um, Hal's just so annoying, he's all like, yeah, we're best friends, right, and I'm like, Hal, I hope you fucking die in a fire, and he's all like, huh, you too, buddy, I love you, and I'm like, god damn it, I'm like, just fucking kill yourself, um, <laughs> that, that's a little mean, <laughs> kill yourself, um, but, uh, man, I find it weird because, first of all, I didn't know what to name the rival in this game, so I just named him fucking Green. There, There's no default names in this game at all, because it's on Switch, and you can just type in whatever fucking name you feel like. Um, but, it's weird to me because you later, later like I said, later on you meet, you meet Blue, right, which is basically Gary. You meet Blue, well, I mean, Gary is Blue or Green. But in Pokemon Sun and Moon, don't they call him, like, don't they call him Green in that? So then you meet him in this game and his name is Blue. And it's like, which one is he? In Pokemon Origins, they call him Green, I think. So which one is he? I don't fucking know. It, it makes no sense. Like, did they name him Blue because the, for the US version? Because fucking, um, because, like, we never had green here we have leaf green but we never had original green right uh by the way i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna ride on my charizard 
because he's awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that fucking awesome? I love you, Charizard. You're the best. Look at you. All right, where are we going now? I think I have to fight the... The, um... I gotta fight Erica. That's where I got. That's where I'm going. Actually, let me switch up my party because Raichu's not gonna be that much of use. Someone's using the ice machine in my house right now. That shit's like really loud. Anyways, um, chop down this fucking tree. Watch out! Good job, Eevee. Good job. You didn't. You didn't kill anybody by doing that. Uh, fucking. Take me around, Charizard. So, yeah, when it comes to the whole Pokemon following you, it's kind of, it's really good in this game. Depending on the size of the Pokemon, let me just show them off a little bit here. Depending on the size of the Pokemon, they uh, do various things. Starlax is kind of funny. Because you just hang on to him. And he's just so fucking fat. He's like running, he's like, rah, rah, Excuse me, I'm coming through. Rah, I gotta get that. I'm coming through. So fat. Right? That's what I imagine Snorlax like every day in his life. He just, it just hurts to exist. Um, Blastoise, you don't really ride Blastoise or Venusaur because, you know, they suck and they're not cool. Uh, Charizard's the best one ever. That's why he got two Mega Evolutions. Because everybody loves him and he's awesome and I love him. And he's great. And then you got Venusaur. I never fucking, like, I never noticed this until, like, this game when Venusaur's, like, running around with you. I never noticed that Bulbasaur was supposed to be, like, a fucking frog. I never drew that I never drew that comparison. It's like Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur, they're supposed to be a fucking frog. I never knew that. I didn't know that until I saw him following me, and I was like, oh, you move like a frog. You're, like, hopping around. Uh, but let's get Flareon out here, because we can't, we can't fly on our Pokemon inside the gym. Alright, Erica, I'm here to burn your fucking place down and earn my bash, kind of like Ash did. <laughs> oh, you saved the Pokemon, Ash. Here's a gym badge. I don't give a fuck. So, you want to challenge Erica, the gym leader? I have you know. We only let trainers with Q Pokemons into the gym. Do you have one? Let me see. Well, I got Flareon. Flareon's pretty awesome. Oh, huh, Flareon. It's cute. Super cute. Can I pet it? Just a bit, please. Oh. It feels so good. I just want to bury my face in its belly. That's weird. It smells so good, too. I love it. Fine, then. I guess I have to let you into the Celadon City Gym. Seeing as you brought a cute Pokemon and all. That's cool. I guess the idea here was, do you have a cute Pokemon? And you were supposed to show them your partner Pokemon. By the way, if you really want to have fun with this game... Without relying on your po partner Pokemon, just get them out your fucking party. They're overpowered as shit. They're really overpowered. Like, Eevee was taken down fucking, like... Like, Eevee was taking out Geodudes by himself. It was crazy. Alright, girl. Time to fight me. Now I can burn down this fucking gym. I feel bad for Erica. She's just such, like... She's not a bad gym leader. It's just... God damn it. Why'd you choose grass types? And it's not even like grass types that put up a fight. They're just grass types that just roll over and die. Like this, for example. Put out a fucking Oddish. Like, come on. You just killed that thing. It's burnt to ashes. It's never coming back. Another thing I like that this game kind of does is like with the whole experience shit. It does that, like by default, you have the experience share thing on, but... It doesn't overpower your Pokemon like it did in X and Y when that came out. Oh, I don't need to go this way. That just leads to the outside. Um, yeah, it doesn't overpower your fucking Pokemon. Because I know in Pokemon X and Y, I never had to use, like, three of my other Pokemon. I just fucking used my starter, Charizard, and Lucario. Because fucking Lucario is awesome, and I love Lucario. Charizard's awesome, and I love Charizard. And the starter's the starter, and I just want to use the starter. But yeah, um, experience in this game, it's not, like, the way they do it is not bad. And I like that you can, uh, it's kind of easier to grind for experience when you really need it. Like, it'll take some time, but, like, it's not that hard. I forget that Execute's even a fucking Pokemon. I forget about Execute, and I forget about Executor. 
I forget about the motherfuckers. Because nobody really cares about them besides Blue. For some reason, he has an Exeggutor on his team. He's really dumb. He's really stupid. It was a stupid Pokemon, and it sucks. And the Alolan form of the Pokemon just looks fucking terrifying. Weren't you peeking in here earlier? No. The fuck? I think you guys got, like, stalkers or some shit. That's crazy. Hi, Tina. I'm here to kill your Pokemon. Go, Gloom. Nasty-ass fucking Pokemon drooling and shit all the time. Isn't the drool supposed to be, like, tree set? When I think about it, isn't that just like your fucking, like, isn't that just like your blood coming out of your mouth? You're just constantly drooling your blood? That sucks. You got experience points. Man, that was easy. See, this is what I mean where, like, there are sometimes parts of this game where it's, like, really, really easy and you can blitz through it like this. But there are other parts of the game will beat your ass. Like, I remember fucking uh, Blue was like, let me test your strength or whatever. He only has two Pokemon on his team, and, like, each of my Pokemon got to, like, half health. I was like, are you kidding me? What's happening here? I was like, Blue, why are you fucking me up? That's crazy. This is a real oversight. It's like, <laughs> this fucking gym makes no sense to me. There's like a fly in my room, and it's bothering the fuck out of me. I just want to kill it. I just want to murder it. Just want to, just want to fucking hurt it. Flies are like the worst thing ever. Bugs are the worst thing ever. For some reason, God was like, "Hey, let me create nature's asshole because of bugs just fly in your face for no fucking reason." I know that the reason is like what moisture comes from your, like they sense the they they look for moisture and they sense it in like. Your fucking, your mouth, nose, and eyes and shit. That's why they fly in your fucking face all the time. But it's like, motherfucker, can't you see that I'm killing your other friends that get this close? Why would you do that? Do you think that, like, flies and, like, bugs and stuff just constantly live in a world of Attack on Titan? They're just like, we don't know why they kill us. They don't eat us or nothing. Well, technically speaking, I guess we do eat bugs. Because, like, some food dies come from, like what flies and shit like fly guts or some shit like that something like that it's gross i like the way they do the camera angles here it's pretty cool this is like the first gym that really does like the camera angles and shit hey lady for some reason you don't see me now i will walk in front of you what's your hobby yes let's pokemon battle did i just say let's pokemon battle when she obviously said let's battle pokemon you're challenged by beauty lori hi lori she sends out a Gloom, her only Pokemon. Hope you're not gonna miss him or her. What is it, a girl? Is it a girl? Yeah, it's a girl. Hope you're not gonna miss her. I'm gonna burn that bitch. I love you, Flareon. You're so awesome. I think Flareon is supposed to be like, what, the weakest of the original three evolutions, With like Vaporeon being the strongest and uh, Jolteon being like the middle road, road kind of. Jolteon's the fastest because it's an electric type, but I mean, like, it's supposed to be like the middle world, right? And it learns fucking pin missile for some goddamn unknown reason. I guess because, like, it's fur spiky or some shit? I don't know. It's pretty dumb. You're challenged by Ace Trainer Mary. Alright, Ace Trainer. Why do you have nothing but grass types? You're not really an Ace Trainer, are you? You poser. You fucking posing, posing asshole. I was about to call her a bitch, but, there, but that was unnecessary. Why would I call her that? She ain't, she ain't do nothing to me. Besides get in my way. And I will kill her Pokemon. Do you think Weeping Bell and Victory Bell live in a constant state of pain because, like, they constantly have their mouths open? It's like every attack that they get hit by just goes in their mouth and they're like, Oh, it sucks. Man, I used to love Tingla. Mainly because he just looks so fun. And then I fucking forget that what? It has an evolution in Gen 4 called Tangle Growth or some shit like that? And nobody ever uses it? I don't even know if that's a good Pokemon or not. I think I had it like once, and I barely used it because I just. because Infernape's my boy. Yo, Infernape's that guy. He's that guy who's like ready to fucking scrap with anybody. We don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. <laughs> Maybe that's why. I'm... 
we don't like fire type burning like in here because they keep burning our fucking our supply of weed. Flareon, burn that Kush. Get him. Kush is totally not a word that I would use. I would never use the word Kush. I don't even smoke weed and I don't use that word. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Bellsprout. Get fucked up, Bellsprout. You little fucking little twig ass motherfucker. You got another one? Looking like the fucking stick bug from a bug's life. <laughs> why am I why am I roasting Bellsprout? Both both methodically and literally. I feel bad. I feel bad that I'm just murdering everything here. Go Bellsprout! Oh no! Bellsprout! Stop it! He's already dead! Man, Erica, I feel bad for you. I think I was supposed to fight these Pokemon, like, way earlier. <laughs> but the fact that I can just come back later after dealing with Team Rocket. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go and fight Team Rocket and the game corner. And then, like, come here, fight her, and then head to the, uh, to the self company or whatever. And then fight Team Rocket there. I think that's what they intended for you to do. But it's like, motherfucker, I'm just gonna, you know, come back later and beat your ass. My god, Flareon, you look so fucking awesome. This is why I love fire types. Look at you. You're amazing. Flareon is interested in Eevee's chop down. Chop down. What the fuck are you talking about? Hi, Erica. Speak to me. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Wow. I'm that boring to you? Alright. Cool. I mean, that's usually what happens when I speak to girls anyways. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. I'm constantly in a state of being high. Anyways, my name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of the Celadon City Gym. And I'm a student of the Art of Flower Arranging. My Pokemon are all grass types. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well, but I shall not lose. That's the fucking, like, overstatement of the year. Overstatement? No, understatement. My bad. You're challenged by Gym Leader Erica. She sends out Tangela. Spaghetti noodles. Blue spaghetti noodles. Nice week's arms heavy. Mom spaghetti. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, Erica. I feel so bad. I don't even like. I kind of like Erica too. She's cool, right? She's kind of cool. She's just chilling. She's like, you know, just sleeping under a tree, having a good day, waiting to waiting to smoke weed and get the munchies later. Fucking Erica chilling with Snoop Dogg because she smoke weed every day. <laughs> I feel so bad for these Pokemon. Vileplume. Ah, uh, a challenge. Finally. Her strongest Pokemon. It's level 34. I'm level 42. Bye, Volume Plume. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. Snorlax grew level 37. I barely use Snorlax. Oh. I concede defeat. You're remarkably strong. Cool. That's cool, Erica. That's really nice. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. Yeah! Tail 5. Get this fucking fly out of my face. Fucking fly keeps coming near my microphone and shit. I don't like that. You got a rainbow badge from Erica. Erica. Erica 7. Now on the, the Hulu. Is that on Hulu? It might be. A rainbow badge raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you to level 50 for Pokemon that you have received from other trainers. And here, if you like, please also take this with you. You get Mega Drain. She never had the chance to use it. TM53 contains Mega Drain. 
half the damage it inflicts to it uh, blah, 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 blah. half the damage it inflicts is drained from the target and heals your Pokemon. Would you agree that it would be a wonderful move? Yeah, if you had the opportunity to use it, opportunity to use it, but you didn't, not in this fight. Anyways, see you later, Erica. Thanks for the badge. I kind of like. I kind of like the fact when you head to gyms, they go like, Oh, we're not going to let you challenge the gym unless you do something. What do you want from me, Eevee? Y you bother me all the time. Yeah, Eevee's so excited, he's jumping up and down. What the fuck are you excited about, you little dumbass? You little fucking hipster ass? Shut up. Shut up. Here. Uh, have this obviously not pineapple. Pineapples are fucking delicious. Anyways. Let's move on with our lives. Because now we have to go challenge the uh, Saffron City Gym. Because we haven't done that. Man, I wanted to get a ghost Pokemon from... Well, I do. I have a Haunter in my... Uh, oh, by the way, let me just show this real quick. So people don't get fucking confused. Uh, a couple of things. In this game, you have the Pokemon box in your bag. PC is gone. Hopefully they keep this around forever now because this is so useful. You can just change on the fly. It's so good. So we have like Haunter here. Fucking oh, I didn't mean to move. At the party, uh, kick out Flareon for a little bit. Uh, I'll get you back, Flareon. Yeah. Like, I can't wait. You can ride on Haunter. I didn't know that. Oh my god, I love you, Haunter. You're so fucking big. Haunter's not supposed to be this big, is he? You're so giant, dude. What the hell? Oh my god, it's so scary. Haunter. Haunter's... Haunter... Uh, I'm about to say another basic bitch thing, but Ghastly Haunter and Gengar, I love them motherfuckers. I just don't like Mega Gengar. He looks like a dumbass. Fucking... <laughs> Haunter is so big. You're not supposed to be this big. What the hell, dude? You're supposed to be way smaller than this. You're supposed to be like... You're supposed to be like a, about a little bigger than me. You're supposed to be following behind me. If Haunter's this big, then how fuck how big is Gengar? What the fuck? What the hell? I don't know, some of the Pokemon sizes are weird. Anyways, fucking uh, the the Pokemon box is cool. I hope they keep this and like everything. By the way, if you want an Alolan version of a Pokemon, you have to catch that Pokemon and head to certain um uh Pokemon centers. Like, in the game, and depending on what Pokemon you have, there'll be someone sitting down like, Oh, do you want to trade your uh, your Raichu for my Raichu? And then they'll give you, like, an Alolan version of the Pokemon. Um, Hitmonlee. What Pokemon did I have? I had Flareon. There we go. There we go, Flareon. Back my team. Uh, I'm going to switch over to, uh, actually, I want Raichu to take the lead now. Because Raichu's dope and awesome. Uh, I'm gonna head to the Pokemon Center, get my get my Poke Power points back for uh, Flareon's Flamethrower, and then we're gonna head to Saffron City Gym because we can just tackle that right now. I already tackled the uh, like the dojo area next to the gym. That's why I got hit ball. That's where I got hit only. You can get hit or or uh, hit Cham. There we go. Bring 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 your ding. Cool. Yeah. Um, so far in this game, I haven't really been to a problem where I ran out of Pokeballs or whatever because wild, like, wild Pokemon battles are kind of done with in this game, and you just run into Pokemon. Let me actually just show that off real quick while we're heading there. <gasps> There's a Ninetales! Holy shit! Come here! Alright, now I gotta use shitty motion controls because you fucking... Oh my god, it's a Naruto. I found it. Uh, I got four Ultra Balls left? That sucks. Here's a Razzle Bazzle Berry. Cool. Stop jumping. Damn it! I hate you. There we go. Come on, get caught. Yeah! Awesome. Technically second try, but technically first try. Cool. See, and that's what happens. Now, if you want to get more XP for this, what I recommend doing is head to an area that's filled with, like, Raticates or Pidgeotos. Use a lore and just, like, catch nothing but one kind of a Pokemon because then you get a combo bonus. And then if you catch that Pokemon 
during the combo bonus on top of like it being the first try on top of it being like an excellent rating for hitting the pokeball inside the ring and catching it on your first try fucking you get like a bunch of experience points you get like thousands of experience points i remember one time i got like fucking five thousand experience points from doing that shit and i was just like what the fuck that's crazy but i was surprised to see a nine tails there i didn't expect to see one there I actually, for once in my life, I'm trying to get all the Pokemon in this game. I got a Naruto. According to the legends, it's an anime that started about learning to be who you are and then basically became bullshit because you're a reincarnation of a god. Haha. <laughs> Man, and then you lose all your power once you have a son. Isn't that cool? What the hell? What Pokemon was that? Oh, it was just a Pidgeotto. Cool. Man, let me actually bring Ninetales out. I kind of want to see... I kind of want to see what Ninetales looks like when it's just like chilling out. Can you ride on the Ninetales? I don't think so. I think it's too small for that, right? Oh, by the way, when you're uh, playing this game in dock mode, you only use like one controller, so it's kind of weird for me. <laughs> you only use like one Joy-Con. Alright. Oh no, Ninetales follows behind you. Ninetales is such a cool looking Pokemon. Ninetales found something in the plants. It's a Napa Berry. It will later be betrayed by Vegeta. Vegeta. Ba da ba ba ba. My hairline. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Vegeta and his McDonald's hairline. I love him. I love Vegeta. He's an asshole. He's a fucking asshole. Anyways, here we go. It's nice to see uh, see that. Oh, uh, back to my Charizard. Charizard, when I'll travel alongside you. Overstatement of the year. Anyways, uh, Charizard, let me actually, I want to show off a lot of things on this game because there's a lot of nice details that happens in this game. So, we're in areas right now where, like, there's a town. So, Charizard's gonna, like, you know, stick to the ground or whatever. But once you head to, like, routes and shit that aren't connected to towns and stuff, he starts to just fly in the air and you can just skip over everything. It's such a beautiful thing in the world. Let me just show this. I just really want to show this. See? Like this. Charizard's just like, I don't give no fucks. I don't give no fucks. Now, I don't know if you can fly over water or anything. You might be able to, right? But I haven't really run into an area where I need to surf or anything like that. So, uh... Oh, actually, here we are. You can just fly over water. That's cool. So you really don't even need a water type Pokemon to learn Surf. That's pretty awesome. I love that. Look at that. It's a doo doo. It's a doo doo. It's a doo. -doo. I know it's pronounced do duo, but its name just looks like doo doo. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just now the only annoying thing with like having Charizard fly like this, like even though it's cool, like you can't you can't tell him to go lower or anything. He just stays up in the air. So if you want to like head back over areas like this or whatever sorry i pressed the fucking for some reason the l and r buttons are also like confirmed buttons i don't know why they did that but you gotta fucking hang your poke poke thing and it's fucking say stop charizard and you gotta do that it's kind of annoying i wish there was a button just to like switch there's like you got fucking you have two joy cons and you got like a total of like what fucking 12 buttons like you can at least make one of those a button where uh where you fucking, like, tell Charizard to descend and ascend. Like, they can be the same fucking button. Be fucking contextual or whatever. But, whatever, man. Uh, but yeah, you can also ride on Pokemons like Onyx and, uh, Persian. And, fu I think it's pronounced Persian. You know, Meow's Evolution. And Arcanine and fucking... I'm pretty sure when you get the legendary Pokemons, you can ride on the motherfuckers, too. Snorlax was a weird one. I didn't really expect that you can ride on a Snorlax by grabbing onto its nipples. Um, and him just being like, don't worry, I gotcha. And he starts running around. He's like, Ugh, I'm so big and fat. Like, Haunter's a weird one. I didn't think you can ride on Haunter. Like, he's fucking giant. He's not supposed to be that big. Um, but over here should be the Saffron City Gym. Oh, yeah, for some reason, you can't ride on Pidgeot. Remember when Pidgeot was a fucking giant Pokemon in the fucking, like, anime? Like, what the hell happened to that? 
I don't know, Pokemon sizes are inconsistent. Like, I know Ash has, like, the smallest Charizard in the world. Oh, this is Sabrina. I fucking forgot about Sabrina. Oh my god. Yo, champ in the making. Surprised by all the glitz and glam, Saffron City is the biggest city in Kanto, and its gym gets its fair share of challengers, too. You'll need to have a Pokemon at least level 45. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, right, you. You meet that requirement. Awesome. The problem, that's Pokemon that's at least 45. Whatever. Alright. Well then, fly off to meet the city the, the gym leader, Sabrina. I love Sabrina. For some reason, the anime made Sabrina like a sadistic bitch. I don't know why they did that. Someone's gonna have to come out of one of these. Um... Let me see. I, I didn't think Saffron was Sabrina. I wasn't really thinking. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Who are we going to send out first? Actually, we're going to send out Blastoise first. Yeah. You're going to go first. Big boy. Big boy, you're going to go first. Actually, let me... You know what? Since you're going first, let's take you out the Pokeball. Make him look scared. Look at Blast... Oh. Blastoise, you're not out the Pokeball. That's weird. Huh. Well, nobody came out of that one. I thought they would. That's a new type of uh, Pokemon trainer I see. I've never seen a Pokemon trainer like that before. Let me just check over here. Someone gonna come out of here? No? Hmm. Okay, that's weird. It leads to the same thing. It doesn't fucking matter. That's so dumb. Are you scared of psychics that use unseen power? Who the fuck are you? I've never seen you in my life. What are you? Challenged by Psychic Jonah. Huh. You look like a scientist. I can't tell if that's a girl or a guy. Oh my god, it's Slowbro. He's so fucking slow. He's like... Slowbro. Motherfucker's constantly high. I wish I could be like a Slowbro. Anyways, use Dark Pulse, motherfucker. By the way, uh, these are TMs that I used. Because for some reason... Your starter Pokemons, uh, starter Pokemons, did I say that? For some reason, uh, the, um, this game works on Gen 7 logic, but at the same time, they tuck away the moves that these Pokemon learn, like, through Gen 7, so they tuck away some of the moves and just put, just kept some other moves. It's really weird. Um, so yeah, fucking, like, Bulbasaur, Charizard, and fucking Venusaur don't learn shit for like the longest time, so you gotta really rely on TMs and stuff. Uh, Pikachu, on the other hand, uh, up to level 30, he learns Thunder, and then that's really it. You can evolve it to a Raichu then. Um, Eevee, I think its last thing that it learns is Helping Hand, and then after that, you should just evolve it. Uh, and then get it to like level 39, so it can either learn Thunder flamethrower or ice beam or whatever the fuck like not ice beam hydro pump my bad um who's he sending out again i did not pay attention by the way blastoise is fucking asleep are you kidding me uh don't one of you motherfuckers have a dark type attack no i think blastoise was the other one who had like a dark attack actually kadabra uh blastoise got a he got a lot of defense on him he can take it he can take it don't use dream eater please Psychic. Yeah, you can take a psychic attack. Why not? Fuck it. Yeah, look at that. Bam. Alright, so sleep is a bullshit status effect because when I use it on enemies, for some reason, after I hit them once, they wake up. And then when they use it on me, they can fucking hit me for like full a full four turns. And then I would I would never, ever wake up. Lay the fuck out of here. Are you kidding me? Motherfucker, if you use hypnosis, I'm gonna be angry. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I expect you to try and use. Yep. Mm. I'm sorry, Blastoise. That's what you get for being a fat fuck. <laughs> He's like, Ugh, Blastoise. It hurts. It hurts to live. Go, Charizard, the best starter ever. Charizard, how the fuck, motherfucker? How are you like an original ass Pokemon, and you're still one of the best designs ever? You're just a basic ass dragon. You ain't even a dragon type. You just fucking awesome. And I love you. Ain't even a you ain't even a dragon. Ain't even got no scales. How's it feel, Seath? To be a bitch. 
<laughs> Man, I love Plague of Gripes. That fucking animation is hilarious for Dark Souls. It's great. <laughs> How's it hanging, Seath? For some reason, he has these scales that make us a double immortal. Alright, so, uh... Blastoise is fucking dead. That's great. Do you think... Do you think people will do a Nuzlocke run for this fucking game? Wouldn't that be, like, impossible because, like, you can't even grind in this game without catching Pokemon? Right? Can't even grind for experience? Uh, Medicine Pocket. Revive. There you go, Blastoise. I don't have any healage. That's bad. You must be a lost trainer. Nah, man, I'm just a regular ass trainer. Everyday trainer. Oh, I remember fucking my Flareon has a Shadow Ball. I just remembered. I was wondering who else has like a Dark type move. Yeah, so Dark type just rules this gym because it fucks up Ghost types and it fucks up Psychic types. And they can all just die. The fuck are you using Dark Pulse for, motherfucker? And I flinched. Come on. He basically just fucking like. He basically just like fucking. Are you kidding me right now? Like, Blastoise, you're dead again. You get hit one more time, you're fucking dead, dude. You're dead, son. You're done. You're done fucked up. Go, Flareon. You can do it. I believe in you. Because you're awesome. Everybody thinks Flareon sucks, but I'm going to show them wrong. I'm going to show them all that Flareon's awesome. Flareon's so awesome that it don't even matter if it's confused. It's going to use Iron Tail anyways. Fuck him up, Flareon. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Flareon. Fuck him up. Get him. Sends out Haunter. Keep battling. I know you're still confused, but you don't fuck him up anyways. Use your iron tail. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Flareon. Make him your bitch. Flareon is so dope. I love you. I love you, Flareon. You're so beautiful and majestic. Lost and yet so strong. You got a thousand or whatever for winning. Cool. Well, now that uh, Blastoise got the ever-loving shit kicked out of him, fucking, um, we're gonna use Flareon again to wreck this gym. Come on, Flareon, let's go. I think I only used Venusaur for, like, one fight, to be honest. Wasn't that the Giovanni fight? <laughs> Is that what I used Venusaur for? He was like... I'm in Venusaur! Where am I going? Oh shit, fuck. I should really remember what teleporters I'm using. I use this one. And I use this one, down here. Cool, it's an ace trainer. What's up? Sabrina is younger than me, but she still earns my respect, because if she doesn't, she'll turn me into a doll and try to kill me forever. Fucking, uh, let's be honest, that fucking, like, the Pokemon anime is so weird, man. I'm still watching, like, if you, if you watch my Little Witch Academia shit, you would know that I went back to, uh, go watch the original Pokemon series. I'm still doing that. It's like, how the fuck does the Pokemon League not know that Sabrina's just a crazy bitch? It's like, what the hell? It's like, aren't you guys supposed to be, like, above the law? Like, for real, isn't that what the Pokemon League does? Like, Officer Jenny's there, and then the Pokemon League shows up, and they're all like, alright, let me step aside. By the way, what the hell is wrong with Jinx? Why do you have, like, these side things? What the hell is with those side horn things? That's weird. You got, like, fucking pins coming out of your dress. What the hell is that about? That looks weird. Anyways... Yeah, but, uh, Jinx is a weird Pokemon overall, to be honest. Besides it looking like Nicki Minaj. Um, <laughs> that's fucked up. Besides that, um, but Jinx was originally supposed to just be a Pokemon where you can't see its face or whatever, but that got 
they didn't realize that when they were making the anime. So then you had the whole Jinx blackface thing. It was weird. It was weird. Jinx is a weird ass Pokemon. Does anyone ever really use Jinx? It's like. And for some reason in Gen 2, they gave it a fucking baby form. They gave it Smoochum for some reason. I don't know why. Like, nobody really uses Jinx. I should really head to the Pokemon Center. Like, right now. My Pokemon are getting fucked up. Hey, dude, what's up? Sabrina is young, but she also has, is our highly skilled. She's a highly skilled gym leader. I won't let you reach her easily. How's young? How young is Sabrina supposed to be? She's supposed to be like sixteen or something. Or is she supposed to be like, like twelve or something? I don't know. It's weird. Pokemon's fucking weird. Like everyone looks like they're goddamn, fucking like, sixteen and eighteen and seventeen and shit. But, like, they're all 10 and shit. Fucking Jesse and James looks like they're goddamn, like, 20 or something. But in all actuality, they're fucking 17 years old. It's like, what the hell? Alright, Flareon, you're fucked. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, Flareon. Go Raichu. Fuck him up. And when I say that, Raichu's gonna be the one to get fucked up himself. Himself, herself. My bad, I have a female Raichu. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stereotype you. Stereotype? Eh, that's not even the right word. Ace Trader sends out... What do you say, Kadabra? Send out another Kadabra? Man, Kadabra is one of the weirdest fucking Pokemon ever. And I mean that because, like, its original Pokemon entry was something like... Like, the entry just said, like... Like, I know, I know we can spend days and days and days talking about fucking Pokemon entries and how weird they're all, but Kadabra was, like, one of the most weirdest ones ever. It was like, and it happened one day, the child woke up and there he was, a Pokemon. And it's like, what the fuck? It's like, and then some motherfucker saw this and said, I'm gonna put that in a Pokeball. And basically, he just turned into a slave. Like, like a, a child was sick, and then one day it woke up, and it was a Kadabra, and then some asshole came to town and said, I'm gonna capture that, and make it do work for me now. I'm gonna capture that and make it fight in the ring. Did I, did I fight you already? I'm pretty sure I fought you already. Let me just... Who's... Oh, now Blastoise, you're gonna fucking die if I send you out there. Go Charizard. Okay, so I didn't fight you. Alright, this is a little confusing. You got three Pokemon. You might actually kill me. Who knows? Go Charizard. Use Flamethrower. Flamethrower, go! My Charizard shouldn't even have the Moon Flamethrower right now. This is a TM I gave it. <laughs> I gave it a TM before it could even actually learn Flamethrower. He was now level 42. That's all, I mean 43. My bad. I'm sorry. The number didn't change. Went on a Slash? Hell yeah. That's pretty dope. Uh, Yeah, Dragon Pulse is a TM I gave you. Slash is like a power of 80, right? 70. Well, then there's no point. Yeah, there's no point for me giving you fucking Slash besides like high critical hit ratio, right? Yeah, there's no point. I like Fire Spin. Fire Spin doesn't do that much damage, but I mean, like, it gets the job done. Oh, man. I like Fire Spin. Fire Spin is dope. No. I'm, I'm gonna give up on learning Slash. Raichu is level 46. Awesome, Raichu. Venusaur is level 40. Cool, so now all my Pokemon made it to the level 40 mark? Sending out Haunter. Haunter, you're so dope. See, look how small Haunter is, right? Look how small he is, and then once you take him out the fucking Pokeball, he's like super giant. I guess, technically speaking, Haunter can change its size. Because it is a trickster Pokemon, right? I don't I don't think that's its actual, like, bio. Like, I don't... Bio, what am I saying? I don't think that's 
what it's actually called in the Pokedex, but it is a Pokemon that does play a lot of tricks and shit, so maybe, maybe like changing its size is kind of like that, right? I guess, I guess you can say that, I mean, people still believe that fucking the Haunter go inside of Pokeballs and becomes Voltorb. <laughs> Remember that shit? Where people are just like, Pokemon theory. Haunters go, like, they go inside of Pokeballs, accidentally get caught, and become Voltorbs. And then another Pokemon theory was like, oh, uh, Gengar is the shadow of uh, Clefable, right? And then later on that, that proven to be somewhat true because I believe someone from the Pokemon company, they were like, yeah, that was our design that that was like our idea of our design. We wanted to make the opposite of that Pokemon, so we made Gengar. But like in terms of actual Pokemon, like on how they're made, I don't think that's how Gengar is actually. All right? Go Hypno. Go Child Diddler. Cause that's what the fuck you are. There was an incident that involved a Hypno abducting children. Like, whenever I think about that Pokedex entry, it's just like, it's like, are you referring, like, technically speaking, they cannot be referring to, actually, let me think, was that its original, like, description? If it was, then it can't be referring to the anime. If it wasn't its original description, and I mean, like, in, like, red, blue, and yellow, or uh, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, green, yellow, uh, not like fire, red, and leaf, green, because fire, red, and leaf, green are remakes, um... Fucking, he's a dream eater, you piece of shit. I'm gonna fucking kill you when I wake up. Oh, there you go. He shook it off because Charizard loves me so much. Um, yeah, but I always thought like that Pokedex entry where it's like there was an incident where it kidnapped children or whatever or something like that. I always thought it was referring to like the Pokemon episode where like Misty gets hypnotized and shit and like. It wasn't the Hypno's fault or anything like that. It was like, what, its powers were too strong that it accidentally hypnotized people or some shit like that? I don't remember what it was. I, I can't remember the exact details, but it was something like that. Yay, we made it to Sabrina. That's awesome. Too bad I really don't want to fight you now, Sabrina, because all my Pokemon got their ass handed to them. So I'll be back. I'll be back once I heal my Pokemon. I should really buy, like, potions and shit, to be honest. I should really buy potions. Alright, uh, Pokedex, Pokedex? Why was I saying that? Pokemon Center is down here. Head to the Pokemon Center battlefield. Alright. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Where the fuck is Pokemon Center? Oh, it's all the way down here. What the fuck? You kidding me? Oh, Porygon. Hell yeah, I forgot. Once you uh, save the company or whatever, this guy who was in the building, who's all like, I gotta sneak my Porygon out of here. I don't want Team Rocket to have it. Right? He goes like, oh man, you saved us. That's cool. Uh, hey, you want this Porygon? I promise it won't give you a seizure. And then you fucking take it. Porygon actually looks really good in this game. Because it's supposed to be like a computer-generated Pokemon, so like, the fact that it actually looks like it's from a different fucking plane... Like, plane of existence, it's pretty cool. I like it. Because usually in other Pokemon games like this, they don't really give him, like, kind of the shell-shaded look that he has a little bit there. They just kind of make him look like any other Pokemon. Alright, cool. Thank you, Nurse Joy. I am really loving this game. This game is awesome. It's really great. I'm ha I've been playing it for like what the past three days or so, just having a great time. It's like this game pulled me away from playing Spyro. By the way, speaking of Spyro, I'm not sure when it will come out, but I did do a full playthrough of uh, Spyro, the first Spyro off the uh, um, Reignited trilogy. And it's going to be kind of a different playthrough because the commentary is going to be post-commentary instead of live commentary like this is. 
But um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can try doing more post commentary stuff. Like Spyro, like the first Spyro off the uh, Ignited Trilogy or whatever, that's gonna be my testing field. Um, because I want to see if if the content will. If I feel like the content is as good as doing a live commentary, you know, because I prefer live commentaries, but there's just so many things that can go wrong with shit like that. And I don't want to fucking waste time. I don't want to waste people's times like I'm doing right now where I don't know where the fuck I'm going with these teleporters. God damn it. Um, but yeah, I think it's this one, right? It should be this one. Nope, it wasn't that one, so I'm gonna try the other one now. Um, yeah, but when that Spyro stuff comes out, it's gonna be the first Spyro, and if it, if I feel like it's actually doing well, and, you know, I can actually get with the program on that, then I'll probably do all the other Spyro games, because right now, I'm just, uh, I just started playing Spyro 2, I gotta do a test playthrough to understand, like, what I'm doing, because with the Spyro games, I kinda wanna do a 100% playthrough with that shit um fuck where am i going these teleporters are so confusing okay here and then here maybe nope wait actually yep i think i go up here now right i may have fucked up nope i did it all right cool hello sabrina Man, uh, do I have the Pokemon that I want? Yeah, okay, cool. Just making sure. Hey, Sabrina, you're so cool, and I always loved your design. You're awesome, and you're like super hot, even though you're probably like 12 or some shit because fucking Pokemon's weird and anime's weird. But, anyways, uh, so have you come? I had a vision of your arrival. I had psychic power since I was a child. I started when I carelessly it started when I carelessly threw a spoon and it bent itself into an unnatural shape. I dislike battling, but if you wish to, then I will show you my power. She just becomes real evil. All right, Sabrina, let's go. Oh my god, she looks like she's just going to murder me. Holy shit. See, this is weird, like, it's like, Sabrina's young or whatever, and you look at her and it's like, girl, you look like you're, like, fucking 22. Alright, sends out Mr. Mime, can't wait to see you in the Detective Pikachu movie. Man, Detective Pikachu is a weird type of thing where, like, it looks weird, but at the same time it looks interesting, so I kind of want to see it. Okay. So if I had if I had my right out right now, I would use brick break and break that shit. Flareon's strong enough to to not get Oh fuck. Alright. That does more damage than it usually does. Okay. That does more damage than it usually does. I meant that did more damage than it usually does. Anyways, well Mr. Mind, get the fuck out of here. I'm tired of your bullshit. Anyway, who are you gonna send out next? Slowbro, well, Flareon, you can stay here. I'm going to send out Blastoise. I think Blastoise can handle this one. He's all like, Slowbro, bro, fucking slow. You know what's weird? Slow. In order to get a Slowbro by Pokemon Evolution, a fucking Shelter is supposed to bite its tail. But what the fuck is that? What does that make the shelter into? How come that's not like... How come that's not recorded as a new Pokemon? Flinch, good move. That's great. And Blastoise is faster than Slowbro. Holy shit, that's great. I love it. Used Yawn. Alright, I'm not too worried about that. Because that takes a whole turn to fucking go in effect. And Reflect War off, so that's way better. Great. Alright. Now, uh... Blastoise is gonna fall asleep, but that's cool because I didn't want to keep Blastoise out this long anyways. 
All right, about to send out Jinx. Gonna switch back to a. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna switch back to Flareon. I was kind of thinking if I should, you know, switch to a different Pokemon, but Flareon's pretty dope. Switch. Go, Flareon. I love you. You're so beautiful. All right, Jinx. Hey, Jinx, are you jealous that Cardi B is now more popular than you? <laughs> That's fucked up. I don't even like Cardi B like that. I don't even like either of them. Lovely kiss. Oh, fuck, damn it. Wait, that's confusion, right? No, that's sleep. Holy shit. Man. Wake up, Flareon. Don't use Dream Eater, you piece of shit. Psychic. Alright, well, I'd rather have you use that than Dream Eater to heal yourself. Wake up, Flareon. Come on. Flareon's gonna die regardless. Well, if you're gonna die, then you just fucking flamethrower or lose. Damn it! Alright, Flareon, you served me well. You did your best. And now, I'm gonna send out Venusaur because I believe... I'm trying to think. No, actually. I thought I had a poison ability, but I was trying to think if poison was super effective towards Psychic, but I think it's the other way around. Snorlax, how are you doing? I barely use you. Oh, you got Lick. That's pretty dope. And it caused paralysis, so that's pretty cool. I barely use- I haven't even used you in a fight at all, Snorlax. So, uh, let's see. See if you're useful to me. There you go. Hell yeah. Now, Snorlax, since I know you're a big guy and you can take hits, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use his Max Revive. Right, and I'm gonna use it on Flareon because I want Flareon to get experience. I want everybody to get experience. Lovely kiss. Damn it. No worries, Snorlax always sleeps. That, that's cool, I guess. Can I use rest when I sleep? If I'm already asleep, can I use rest? No. Ice punch. Man. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Fucking um, I was just thinking about the ability thick fat. Uh, yeah. Fucking um, there's no abilities for Pokemon in this game at all. I guess they thought that would be like like adding abilities on top of all the other extra shit, like how poison types don't get poison no more and stuff like that. I guess they thought that would be too much to like introduce to people all at once. So I don't think there's abilities in this game for Pokemon at all. At least I haven't run into it because I've been punching Pikachus in the face and they still haven't paralyzed me through the static effect or whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna send Flareon back out. Good job, Snorlax. I mean, you tried your best, Snorlax. I might, uh. Hopefully, Paralysis kicks in right now and doesn't. I want everyone to get fucking experience. That's the problem. That's my problem right here. I want everyone to get experience. I could probably just kill Jinx now, but it's probably going to use Lovely Kiss. Yeah, there you go. What the hell is up with Paralysis, man? That's cool. Um, I think I have an Awakening or like a full heal or something. Let me see. Yeah. I'm going to use that. You're gonna use Psychic, and then the next turn I'm gonna use Shadow Ball and fuck you up. Because that's what I do. And I'm faster than you, you dumb bitch. Alright, cool. Alakazam, your strongest Pokemon. Uh, I should have Flareon stick it out, but I'm not going to. I'm going to send Charizard out instead, because I want to use Fire Spin, and then kind of get you trapped there, and then probably use, like, Fly or something. I don't know. I'll think about it as I go along. Alright. Alakazam, with the two spoons, looking like the goddamn son off a of Brazen Brand, talking about two scoops. Holy shit, what the fuck, Charizard? Man, you good boy? Get that fire spin going. Oh, get that damage going. 
You're fucking faster than me, Alex Sam. How the fuck is that possible, you son of a bitch? Anyways, uh... My Charizard... My Charizard, no! You hurt my Charizard. Damn it. I'm gonna send out Venusaur, actually. Venusaur's gonna get hurt real bad. Raichu's gonna get hurt real bad if I send him out. Because Raichu's uh, special defense isn't really that good. Ah, fuck it, Raichu. You got enough experience. I can risk your ass. Oh my god, Raichu. Alright, hopefully you're faster than Alakazam, because you're fucking supposed to be. Use Thunder, you son of a bitch. There you go. How come Fire Spin didn't hurt Alakazam that turn? Wait, what the fuck was that about? Get hurt by a Fire Spin, jackass. Does Charizard have to stay in battle in order for that to happen? Oh, wow. Anyways, Thunderbolt, you're dead. What? How are you faster than me? <laughs> what was that? What was that? What was that? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Can I ask that? I, wasn't I just faster than Alakazam and then for some reason Alakazam became faster than me? Oh, what the fuck was that? What was that? What was that about? You Shadow Ball. Fuck him up. Kill him. Nightshade. That shouldn't kill me. Yeah, that shouldn't kill me unless you were level 75. Jackass. That was such bullshit. Oh, this loss shocked me, but a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. Bullshit, you cheated. <laughs> you fucking cheated. Oh my god. Your victory has earned you a marsh badge. Oh man, cool. The marsh badge raises the level of the Pokemon that will obey you to 60. Pokemon that you see from other trainers. And wait, please take this with you. It's Calm Mind and not Psychic. That's weird. Oh wait, I already have Team Psychic anyways. So It's Calm Mind. It makes a Pokemon concentrate to boost both its special attack and special defense in battle. Psychic power isn't something that only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power, but just don't realize it. Cool, can you teach me? Can, can you teach me that? Can I become your disciple? Alright, what do you want, Eevee? Looks like he's getting more fired up after a high-fived me. Cool. Good job, you little hipster. You little hipster bastard. Anyways. Let's uh, head to the Pokemon Center, because that was some bullshit, some grade-A bullshit that just happened there. Oh, man. That sucks. That really sucks. Anyways, uh, we're getting to like an hour and 15 minutes with this goddamn recording. At least that's what it says for me. Uh, so, we're gonna heal up our Pokemon. And before we go, I just want to show off one more thing, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are curious... A good handful of people are curious to know what it's like. So, head to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna heal up our Pokemon today. At the Pokemon Center, they feel good. And we're gonna make them all healthy. Cool. Thanks, Nurse Joy. All right. Before I end this little uh, this little spotlight thing we're doing, we're gonna tell Evie to pull out his motherfucking motorcycle or, or whatever. Did it just say it's interesting in the Pokemon I just caught? I didn't catch anything, you jackass. Anyways, Sky Dash, and we're gonna head over here because people probably wanna know. So let's satisfy your curiosity. Say hello to Lavender Town. Don't worry, guys. La Lavender Town is back. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of the same without them explicitly 
telling to your face that Team Rocket killed Marowak. Uh, they kind of work their way around it because, you know, this game is supposed to ha -ha be children and shit. Also, other changes in this game kind of made like that was like, what are you doing? Also, other changes in this game was kind of made that they kind of made was like you head to Vermilion City and when you fight Surge, instead of him saying the Pokemon saved them in the war, he's all like, a Pokemon battle is like a war, right? So it's like, it's like, hey, you guys kind of going back on your word a little bit. But anyways, you head to the girl over here. She's like, do you believe in ghosts? And you're like, no. And she's like, Haha, I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder is just my imagination, huh? Right? So they still have things like that to like kind of nod. A nice little nod like they did in Pokemon Origins. A nice little nod to like all the people who's been there since day one, I guess. Really? So there are believers, huh? Yeah. Uh, Pokemon Tower, still the same, you know. Everything, everything has a new breath of air. New breath of air. Wow, is that a good is that a good sentence to make? Everything has a nice like fresh feeling to it, where it feels the same in this game, but there's definitely things that they that are like really different, or things that are a little bit different here and there. But overall, if you don't know if you're getting this game on your Switch or not, like. Buy the fucking game, dude. Like, dude or dudette or whatever. Buy the game. It's really good. It's really good. It's fun. And if you've been waiting for a new Pokemon experience, this definitely has enough there to make you feel feel like it's all worth it and stuff. And, you know, it's really good. And if you're someone who constantly plays Pokemon Go, you also have the benefits of uh, transferring your Pokemon over and stuff like that. So that's cool. Me, I don't really play Pokemon Go like that or anything, so I don't get that bit of fence or whatever. But, you know, this game is just really good. It's way better than what I thought it would be when it got first announced. But anyways, uh, that's kind of it for this spotlight. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not sure if I want to do a full playthrough of this game or not, because Pokemon is Pokemon, and, like, the moment it came out, you already got, like, a million people doing, like, fucking they're on like part 20 already or whatever or they completely finish the game or stuff or they're live streaming it or whatever but um yeah i don't know if you guys are interested in seeing a playthrough i'll do it you know uh it may not it may not like it may take a while because if i do a playthrough for a pokemon game i kind of want to do it right because i know the last time i did something like that i did the uh pokemon fire red nuzlocke and I lost the footage for that, <laughs> and that was a while back, so yeah, that Nuzlocke got abrupt, ended abruptly because all the footage got lost and shit like that, and that's nothing you can really re-record, um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of it. Other than that, uh, I'm going to try my best to, you know, upload more because there are people who are more interested in my uh, videos and stuff. Especially since that My Hero Academia thing I did a while, like a while back, I did not expect it to get the response that I thought it would. Uh, I just wanted to do something a little fun, but uh, yeah, that's really it. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it might be a Pokemon video. Uh, it may not. It might be Spyro, and it might be something else that I've been working on for a while, just gotta get some things settled, but, um, other than that, yeah, I wanna thank you guys watching again, uh, thank you guys are watching again, yep, I wanna thank you guys for watching again, and, as always, I'll see you later in the next video.